I promise you this is so far from anything that you've ever been to. And now. All right, let's see here. Jared says, one of my top projects for Q2 is bringing in one-on-ones. What's the best way to get this to happen? I'm not sure. I think I know what you mean, um, Jared, but let me, let me, uh, let me unmute you here. Hey, Jared, you there? Yeah, can you hear me? I can hear you perfect. Uh, yeah, one of the things is uh, we used to do one-on-ones, really got away from it, and doing the whole uh, intensive just really brought back the whole leadership part of it, building into the team and the people and that kind of thing. And so really bringing in back that one-on-one culture. Um, I mean, we have a a very shared open office, so we don't have any closed doors. Like, it, like it's just the, the place that we're in right now until we have better office space. Um, so my thought with it is is possibly trying to schedule coffees with the team, those kind of things, because meeting here and talking about deep stuff at some point is not going to be the greatest. So that's part of it. The other part is um, getting them bought into the whole one-on-one part of it as well. Um, and it should it be should it really be weekly? Should it be every two weeks? Like how much is too much uh, for me for my time for their time, all that kind of stuff. So I think uh, I think there was a good post in, in the group. Uh, Kyle had a good call with Andy on this, and the the book uh, Weekly Coaching Conversation. Have you ever read that book? Yeah, yeah, we ordered it. We're gonna read it. So okay, cool. So that's definitely a good resource. Um, I kind of like this idea, and it and it, it goes to the point that you're just helping your agents kind of run their business Um, to have your agents. I would do a weekly meeting, you know, a short 15 minute weekly meeting. And it could be that you're sitting at, uh, you know, a coffee shop and the agents are coming in with you, but you you block enough time to be able to hold. I would just time block it. I wouldn't have it haphazard. Like Friday mornings are your one-on-one times. And just uh, just have a structured agenda. So I, I like this one here. Every meeting I, I run is with uh, starts with a positive focus. Just give me uh, one one good thing professionally, one good thing personally. Um, their scorecard, their weekly scorecard. So yeah. if you're running KDNA or you're running um, the business tracker. You could even print that out. Uh, just set Mets uh, signed, written, closed for the week. Um, their, their activities leading up to appointments set. Uh, you can open up their CRM and kind of just do a quick quick look at it. Uh, if they have any op- opportunity time, we recommend that our, our agents keep an OT notebook so they can jot down any, uh, any calls and, and notes and those sorts of things. And then uh, anything they need help with, unstuck moments. And, and have them lead the meeting. And uh, I think it'll instill a culture of accountability and ownership on their part. And then once a month, I'd probably have a little bit longer um, meeting with them, um, kind of like the Keller Williams 411, where you're checking in on multiple areas, just not their business. I think this structure can get a little, um, if you don't break it up with a longer one-on-one where you're really checking in, tell me how you're really doing, you know, how's the family, how's your, you know, your personal goals, all of those things. Um, but I would stick to a structure like this and have them prepare for you. Cool. And then what about with admins? Um, we have one admin that's in, in Canada, but she's virtual. We've worked with her for years. She actually physically used to be here and moved away, and we made it still work. And the other one is here. And so how, do, how does that work? Um, we have a longer form in the drive. Uh, if you, I think if you type in review, uh, quarterly review, you, you'll find it in the drive. Um, we're actually shifting our, um, our, our structure of our one-on-ones to just be around our core values, our roles and responsibilities. And each, each person on the team should have individual projects or rocks that they're covering. It's, it's from the book traction. Um, so it's, it's called a five, 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 which is basically just check in on your five core values check in on the roles and responsibilities of that position to see if they're still in alignment, if they can, if they get it, want it, have the capacity to do it. Um, and then check in on, on their, on their rocks. And I, I think that's enough. 
if you want to do it more formal, we, we used to do a sort of two sided. We would each fill out um, that document. Uh, let me see if I can find it. And would that be weekly or is that a monthly thing? Uh, that would be quarterly. Yeah, I mean, you should be having a weekly, at least a weekly meeting with, uh, with your admin, but it wouldn't necessarily be a, a review. With an admin, it's more around, you know, issues that they're having and solving issues. So during the week, I would have your admin keep a list of issues so they're not peppering you um, with any questions that don't need to be handled right away. And then you'll go into that meeting with a positive focus and update on to do's um, from the past week. And then you'll go into uh, solving issues. 